Hello, welcome to Ed Reviews Anything, almost. Uh, tonight we're going to take a look at the DeLonghi Stelosa Espresso Machine. Uh, I got the machine on November the 4th, and today is April the 4th, so I've had it five months. And uh, gotten a lot of use out of it, and generally it's a good machine, but I do have several complaints that we're going to talk about during the course of this uh, review. So uh, the first thing is I need to uh, prepare my uh, coffee. So we'll uh, put it in the uh, put it in the little filter basket. I uh, fill it about half full and tamp it down, and then I top it off and tamp it down again. And that, I feel, gives me a little better uh, espresso extraction. And uh, then we just insert it into the machine and turn it to tighten and then turn the machine on and let it warm up. And while we're waiting for that to warm up, I'll go ahead and get my milk. I don't know why I took my reading glasses off. A little bit of vanity, I suppose. I'll just put the reading glasses back on because I will need them in order to see the mark in my uh, frothing picture here. So I use exactly 12 ounces of milk and by the time it uh, goes through the frothing process and we pour the espresso shot in, uh, it fills out a uh, 20 ounce cup pretty good. And I guess I'll need a cup too. Speaking of such, now, one thing I will mention about the machine, on the top plate here, this warms up and it's there to warm up your cup. And it does get very warm, but it takes a long time to do so. So uh, in my opinion, that is uh, more of a gimmick and not really useful because uh, you're just not gonna set your cup up there and leave it for 45 minutes while it warms up. So, and uh, you'll notice also, uh, I've read, or not read, I've watched a lot of videos from other folks and several of them, including the instructions for the previous machine I had, said that you should heat the milk up until you can't hold the frothing cup in your hand that is way imprecise as far as I'm concerned. So I got my little thermometer here and um, I uh, heat my milk to 180. Amanda likes hers at uh, 165, so uh, there you go. It's a lot better than trying, well, that's pretty hot. We better let go now, if you know what I mean. So we're just extracting our espresso here and turn it off and it continues to flow for just a little bit after I turn it off. And uh, we can take this off because like I say, I'm not leaving it up there to heat up. And now we switched over to the steam setting on the machine. And uh, we will let that heat up. And uh, I should have shown you the uh, espresso shot. Uh, it does a nice crema on top, you can see the, the remains left in the espresso uh, shot glass there. I always put it back under the uh, spout because uh, it does tend to drip a little bit. And although there is a drip tray as part of the machine, why get it dirty if you don't have to? So uh, that's just the way I do it. So uh, this is one of the complaints I have about the machine and uh, you know, when I want my coffee in the morning, I call it coffee. It's a latte, yes, I know. I'm a hillbilly, so it's all coffee. But uh, I like the latte, I do the uh, mocha latte. Amanda likes the white chocolate. So uh, in any case, uh, I want my uh, latte in the morning when I want it and don't want to have to wait on the machine. Although it is heated up now and ready to froth the milk, so let's go for that. Now while we're heating this, heating this up, I will mention one of the things I don't like about this machine, and it says it right in the uh, instructions, 
is uh, after you make a uh, latte, you need to let the machine uh, turn off for five minutes to recover. Now why that would be, I, I guess it just doesn't produce enough steam, and it doesn't produce enough steam. So uh, you do have to let it uh, rest between making your lattes. And the other thing is it's a little noisy, and that's why I've got my uh, decibel meter running here. And as you can see right now, it's running about 84 de decibels. And we're coming through 130 degrees Fahrenheit. And as I say, I like mine at 180. So uh, it gets louder as it goes. So there's my 180 degrees, and I was kind of keeping an eye on the decibels there, and it seemed to top out just above 91 decibels uh, at the maximum noise level. So we just, now one thing I'll point out, you can see in the steaming wand here, and I don't know if you can really see it there, but uh, it does a very good job of uh, uh, the foaming on the milk. So uh, I'm pleased with that. As I say, the taste is good. So all in all, I'm not uh, really overly displeased with the machine. Although you can see it does uh, continue to drip quite a bit of espresso after, it's, uh, after I turn it off, but we'll pour it in. Take a double shot. So um, I don't wanna forget the cleanup. And in fact, I've already, that's the thing is you need to get on that immediately with a, a uh, rag if you don't do it immediately, you got to do a damp rag, which I didn't get it done fast enough. So the uh, milk was uh, drying on the wand there. And then just give it a little shot to clear out any milk that might have stuck in the tube and then rinse the rest of the stuff out. And there we go. So that is... Uh, the basics of making the coffee. The only other thing that I really don't like about this machine is, now I will say it's only $90, so it's not gonna break the bank, but it's five months old, and about a month ago, the selector switch on the front here uh, kind of semi-broke. Uh, you can see that there's uh, a great deal of play there in the uh, movement of the switch. Now going, uh, clockwise is where you've got to go past where you want to be and uh, then uh, going counterclockwise it doesn't have any play so that's fine and previously when it was new it didn't have any uh, any play in it at all so it uh, whatever it said it was on is what it was on but as you can see there it says it's on but it's not on because the switch is broke so frankly I think five months is a little early for stuff to start breaking on it. But on the other hand, like I say, it's only $90. So uh, yeah, such is life, I suppose. Now I do plan to send an email to the manufacturer and see uh, what they uh, might want to do about it. And I will add that to the video when I hear back from them. In the meantime, even if they fix this, I'm gonna give it to one of my friends because I've bought another coffee machine, which I think I'm going to like much better. And there'll be a review on that coming up shortly. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to uh, click the like button and subscribe, then uh, I review a bunch of stuff. So uh, I'll see you in the next one.